<laughs> the next match is the Wrecking Crew. Rage and Fury, a.k.a. Al Green, who was actually Kevin Nash's first tag team partner in the Master yes. Blasters, and Fury being Joe and Johnny's brother, Mark the Terminator, Laurinaitis, versus mm, yeah. the Z-Man, Tom Zenk, and Johnny Gunn, um, better known probably as Salvatore Sensei, uh, Tom Brandy. So, oh, that's a lot of uh, you know names to sort of get through to sort of qualify who these yeah. people are, essentially. But this match, you were talking about it before, and there was something that didn't quite jive uh, for you. Well, a lot of it. Uh, uh, you know, Mark got out of the business when he did. Uh, you know, it's facing, if you're in the Laurinaitis family, uh, wrestling is at least partially the family business. And, you know, your brothers are making a lot of money off of it. So why wouldn't you come in? And uh, I was showing Moose last night. I'll hold it up here a little closer. Those fingers being broken and, and my knuckles there, that happened in a match with Mark Laurinaitis, uh, the Terminator, in uh, I think it was Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And Ron Simmons would later take me to the hospital that night to, to get it fixed up. Uh, he was, like like we had said before, like about Charlotte and different people mimicking. Uh, you could see him and Al trying to mimic the Road Warriors, but neither of them had the charisma of, or Mike or Joe. Um, and, you know, I think, again, this is the kind of thing you see where, okay, like Bill trying, okay, we're going to throw something against the wall and see if it sticks. But again, ultimately, when it comes down, these guys, they, they were, in Mark's case, herky-jerky, like unsure of himself, like the start, stop, start, stop. And in Al's case, just the, uh, no pun intended with, with his name, just really green. You know, and so you can only cover that up so much, especially when you're in the match. Um, when they do the top rope bump on uh, uh, Tom Brandy, and it looks just a little bit like rough around the edges. But then when Al goes for the cover on that, I want the fans that are going to go back and watch this. When Al goes for the cover, he starts to drop down and then he spins himself around. And it's just like, he's just sort of like blanketing his body down on the cover. No, it's just a boom, boom, grab the leg, hook, whatever. Uh, and, and those are the things that we veterans will look out for. And, and knowing just by that one thing you see, you can sort of guesstimate pretty closely where this person's skill set is. And, uh, you know, but to the office, they, you know, I'm sure we're, you know, out of respect for Johnny and or Joe or vice versa, um, giving them a look, see, and big, you know, Bill loved big guys. And then, and, and Alan and Mark were both big guys. And then you get in there with, you know, Tom Brandy's not a bad hand. And then Sal, uh, uh, Tom Brandy, who's a good hand. Um, and just the chemistry wasn't quite there, and the the greenness sort of oozed off of a good chunk of it. And uh, you know, you, at the end of it, you're sort of, I was sort of surprised that they put them over yeah. on on uh, uh, Tom and and uh, well, both Tom, Tom Brandy and Tom Zank, uh, because you know they good looking guys, good bodies, good builds. You know, girls love them, and uh, and it's just like one of those herky quirky weird type things like, okay i didn't see that one kind of surprised me um but it, i think again this is this whole episode is really screaming out that wcw was in this phase and they didn't really know what direction to go so they were trying a little bit of this a little bit of that some of it worked some of it didn't and they're just you know the, the proverbial throwing shit against the wall to see what sticks <laughs> 